Hi guys, happy Friday. Tim from the Heresy Group. Um, cannot wait to get all this pandemic shit behind us and get back to normal. Uh, I went on Instagram yesterday and then realised that there was like 50 requested messages. So if you sent me a message on Instagram, I'm so sorry. Um, the continuing hate from Instagram and Facebook is always present for the THG gang. Um, so I will go through a lot of those questions were very, very similar, uh, and I'm gonna bash through them on this video. Um, the Ruckus, what is it about? It's an event on the 25th of April in Dover in Kent. It's a day game, it's not a night game. Um, I know people, uh, especially from the sort of stuff that me and Richie get up to, are expecting like some form of milk sim or something like that. Uh, this is just a standard day game. So you will arrive in the morning and leave in the, e the afternoon slash evening. Um, payment, lots and lots of people have asked me about payment. I've tried to make it as clear as possible, but just one last bash at this. You pay on the day. So, arrive in the morning, eager with all of your kit, you're gonna walk up to a desk, you're gonna be uh, greeted by one of the fantastic looking uh, THG gang, uh, and then they're gonna take your hard earned money from you, and in return, they are gonna give you a lifetime experience that you will never forget. Uh, and then we'll go and play Airsoft, woohoo. Um, so, pay on the day, arrive, pay in the morning. It's 30 pound per head um, for the people that are playing. There is no differentiation in price uh, across ages or anything like that. It's 30 quid a head, that is it. Um, on the day, what is the requirements? Camo, clothing, and all that sort of thing. I highly, highly recommend that you are in uh, sufficient clothing for the environment. So, you know, no crest dressing as a fucking furry creature. Um, I would advise against shorts or anything like that. I would be wearing really hard wearing leg um, coverage all the way down. So no short skirts, no tiny hot pants or anything like that. This is an active quarry site. That means that there is steel, concrete, bricks, gravel, um, broken and splintered trees, dry wood, all of those sorts of things, including large concrete tubes, concrete structures and bricks, um, all over the place. It is an active site and it is dangerous. So leg covering is super important. Uh, upper body and torso, you know, you're probably gonna want some coverage. It is April, that doesn't mean it's gonna be boiling hot. I would expect you to be in, you know, some form of camouflage if you want. It will help on the material, definitely. There is wooded areas, there is um, lots of diverse um, landscape there. So I would be wearing something warm, um, and something that's gonna protect your arms and skin potentially from, from that environment too. So, keep them things in mind. Does it have to be multi-cam? Of course not. Whatever colors, if you wanna rock jeans and, and you know hard shell, whatever, then you can, but just make sure that your, your bare skin is protected uh, potentially from that environment. Um, and also, dependent on any adverse weather conditions, you're gonna to wanna to dress appropriately for that as well. That's one thing we don't control is the weather. Um, on that, why did we do a walk-on fee um, over booking and all those sorts of things? We did it because of the uncertainty around COVID, um, but also if we do have like a super bad storm on its way, if there is gonna be something that's really, really gonna affect the event quite negatively, it allows us to move it without doing refunds and all those sorts of things. Um, so that is definitely something we would take into consideration. Although, if there is a bit of wind and rain, we will still be playing the day will go ahead. So bear that in mind. Um, some of the other questions I'm trying to think of. Uh, limitations on guns. Um, you can bring and run any gun that you like. Anything, absolutely anything. The one thing that we will not absolutely bend on at all is FPS limits. Our FPS station will be handled by the wonderful team over at Camo Raids, that is Miguel and Merrick. They will be doing all of the calculations, they will be checking and chronoing all of the guns that are used on our site. If your gun is over, in any way, shape or form, it will not be used on the site. Categorically, no. Um, all of the FPS limits, all of the information on the type of FPS for different types of variants is all in the paperwork on our site. Um, and you can see that on my Instagram profile and I'll also link uh, that in this video description below. So that's one form of information. Uh, facilities on site, again, have also been listed in that documentation. There is nothing. So 
toilets, all those sorts of things, sanitary, uh, sanitizer and, and, and baby wipes are massively advised you can go and disappear onto any corner of the quarry and, and go and do your business, but there is, there is nothing there. In regards of water, food, all those sorts of things, you need to bring that for yourself. We have tried to get catering onto the site before, but because of the type of site it is, it is very difficult. Um, we have looked into it, but I think for the ease of the day and just so we can keep things flowing, people not waiting on food being cooked and those sorts of things, just bring a load of food for yourself and then you can, uh, you'll can you have plenty enough uh, time at lunch. I'm trying to think of the rest of the questions. They, that is a lot of them covered. Um, age ranges and all those sorts of things. Again, message us if you've got any sort of concerns, uh, health and fitness and all those types of things as well. If you do have any concerns at all, you can speak to myself or Richie on the day. Um, precursor to that and, and that whole thing, this site is huge. Probably the biggest site in the UK or at least one of them. It's 180 acres, uh, it is giant. You can use as much of it as you choose to. If you want to flank and skirt the edges, you can. If you want to crawl through the wooded areas, you can. If you want to use the gullies, valleys and trenches, then obviously, by all means, please do that. We do not allow people to sit over the spawns or to the, over the regen areas. That would just not be allowed. You'd be asked to move back or we're just going to send the team out to hammer you. Um, so please don't sit over the regen areas. But the rest of the site is more than capable for you to play and it is huge i mean genuinely huge so please use the landscape to your advantage we've been hammering that home a lot um pyro ear pro eye pro all those sorts of things um footwear absolutely adequate foot footwear um turning up in flip-flops it's just not going to happen um trainers i would avoid advise against as well you really want to be in boots you want something that's going to protect that ankle if you do roll it if you tread on a rock and the rock begins to move or the surface beneath your feet between uh, between begins to move um you're going to want something to stop that articulation of the ankle of the, the ankle so boots highly advised um i pro i would advise against like Goggles or anything like that, you could have probably want some ventilation. You will be moving about on the day. Um, so if you do like full seal protection, obviously do that, but please make sure that you are not removing them to demist them during the game. If you do have any issues with misting, you're gonna see a load of marshals in high vises and we'll have player marshals as well. Let someone know and we can cover you while you either clear them or you can return to a regen area or even back to the fob to deal with that. Um, Ear Pro, massively, massively important. Massively important. Um, the last ruckus, as most of you guys that were there and, and guys that have followed the channel, I've never ever seen so much pyro go off uh, in a short period of time in all of my life, in all of my airsoft uh, time playing. And that is at the biggest events, through to smallest events, I've never seen pyro like the first ruckus. Uh, thank you very much Reaper Crew for um, putting some dents in an already dented quarry. Um, there is people expecting to launch fire, uh, mortar and shoulder launch a lot of pyro. If that lands near you and you are not wearing ear protection, there is nothing we can do about the damage that that could cause. So we are advising absolutely everyone to have some form of ear protection. If you have to, go and get some little fag butts uh, to go in your ears to go underneath your contacts, or if you are wearing no ear pro at all, anything that is going to stop the reverberation of that sound is really going to help you. If you have over ear protection, fantastic. In ear protection, fantastic. If you just have to go and get some uh, stuff in earbuds, um, and we'll try and have some available on the day, I'll try and get some over the next couple of weeks, um, so that there is ear pro for people that will need it. If you are up the front, please expect that there will be bangs going off above and around you. Um, pyro is heavy, heavy at our, uh, our site and at our games. Shit, I think that's it. I think that's it from, from memory. If you do have any questions, obviously bang them in the comments below. You can res message me uh, on Insta, you can message me on here, you can message Richie, all the same as well. Um, comms, shit, I knew I nearly forgot something. Uh, do you, if you want to run comms as teams, as units, as groups on the day, please feel free to do that. Um, that's how we're not going to organise. So if, you know, if there's a big group of you that have 10 players and there's another 10 players on your team as well that you want to link in on a comms network, do that between yourselves. Um, it's a very big site. There will be blue on blue. There will be um, 
you know, uh, accidents. So any form of communication that you can drive throughout your team, please take the initiative to do that. Um, and it's simple to all jump on the same comms network on the day uh, and, you know, uh, forward your progress together. I am really, really excited, as you can tell, about what THG are bringing uh, to the landscape this year. Um, I'm not going to go into too far ahead of Ruckus 2, but we definitely have some other stuff penciled in, and I am hyped about it. Absolutely hyped. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all in April. Um, stay safe until then. Obviously, start stockpiling your ammo and um, available pyro and all that sort of stuff. If you do need pyro, we will have some available on the day and for pre-order by the guys over at Camo Raids. If you need stuff for the day, I'm sure that they can hook you up, drop them a message um, and say you stuff, say you want stuff brought to Ruckus 2. Um, anything else, please let me know. I mean, we're, we're super excited about you know bringing this out and, and doing some more stuff down the quarry this year. I look forward to seeing you all and I'll see you all in the next